I was an enormous fan of the original movie and of the book that it's based on, and I, I just, I love Jumanji. And so when Matt called me up and told me about this really exciting sort of fresh, funny, new way of kind of re-entering that world, I got really excited about it right away. I think we want to have a sort of wide swath audience that the family can go to together. Uh, you know, we want it to be exciting. We want it to be funny. We want it to walk up to the edge and walk back. And, um, you know, uh, it should be an exciting sort of unexpected ride. There's no one more qualified to play this part than Dwayne. Um, it, it's as though the movie were designed for him. It's all really about self-discovery, and so I think there's sort of a, a, a fun idea about uh, these characters sort of figuring out who they are in this fantastical context. The first Jumanji was sort of a groundbreaking movie for visual effects, actually, because uh, the, we had never really seen animals done that way, um, and they were done really beautifully at the time. Of course, in the time since, the technology has evolved to places that were, you would have hardly been able to imagine then, and we have incredible facility and control over what the animals can do and how the sequences work. You know, animals are a really big part of Jumanji, and uh, it's, it's one of the reasons that it felt like this was a great um, moment to kind of revisit that story.